Hello everyone and welcome back to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing today? Thank you very much for joining in right off the bat. If you guys could please hit the like button and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And while you're doing that, if it is more convenient for you to watch these live streams on Twitch, I am streaming to Twitch as we speak, so you can go follow me on there if you are interested. If you would like to help support this channel and get some cool rewards in return, please go check out my Patreon page. Eh, page? Page. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much to Ryan Fitzy for your support on there. I really appreciate it, man. Also on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to follow me on social media, all that being said, as you can tell by the title of today's live stream, I am going to be attempting to recreate the 2005 Daytona Arca 200. I'm sure you guys have seen replays of this uh, wreck in probably every single crash compilation ever made. It's that infamous uh, Arca wreck where two cars flip over on the back stretch. With uh, two laps to go. Hold on, I'm trying to pull up the replay. Alright, there we go. Alright, so with two laps to go. A couple of the leaders get spun around, including Todd Cleaver, the number 60 car, who gets clipped and goes upside down, spinning on the backstretch on his top until he gets into the grass and flips over multiple times while a bunch of other cars are piling in, still piling in, still piling in. The number 49 of Dan Shaver goes over. About 20 or so, 15, about, yeah, about 15 or so cars are involved total. And we'll get one more look. Yeah, here's a better look at how the number 60 car one of the first ones involved first, initially flips over. So you're going to see in the background all the cars really spread out, strung out, just coming in, trying to race back to the line because the race is about done, but they can't see. And this is, I guess, yeah, this is before the uh, Arca put in place the... Yellow flag rules where the second the yellow flag comes out, the field is frozen. So that was before that. Alrighty, little refresher there. So I think my best option to try to do this is to be the number 60. I mean, this one is going to be... I mean, this is my nightmare for reenactments. I hate multi-car accidents to try to recreate, let alone something like this where half the field is involved and two cars are flipping over. So I think it's best for me to be the number 60. Oh yeah. I took... I went on racingreference.info and with that information I took the 05 ARCA car set and got rid of all the ones that were crashed out <coughs> or didn't qualify by that point. So mostly what is left is the cars that are that were uh racing still at the time of that accident. I want to make sure Bobby Gerhardt cuz he won the race. I want to make sure he qualifies in front. So I'm just going to turn his qualifying way up. And super speedway. All right. Save. Oh wait, I forgot one important thing for this reenactment. So here we are in the Daytona Night folder, that's the track we're going to be using. Since this is the crash that represents the epitome of Arca Breaks, I think it's fitting that we go down here, AI Panic Decel. I think it deserves a nice big goose egg for this wreck. There will be no AI panic decel today. So since I just changed that, we have to exit out of the game really quick and just restart it.
and also in the Daytona night, I and I, I set the pacing distance really to really have the cars spread out during the pace lap. Because the way I want to do this, I want to get up to speed one lap, and then on the second lap, uh, on the backstretch, cause the wreck. But I want the cars to be decently spaced out like they were when the wreck started. Why is Bobby Gerhardt not in front? Alright, I guess the order of the AI cars isn't too important at this point, I guess. I thought I had the pacing distance set to have the cars kind of spread out. I don't know, I guess this is kind of working. Or I guess this will work, because it's kind of spreading the cars out into clumps. And that's how they were in real life. So the number 60 was in this first group of cars. So that's where I'm going to be. Going to get the stupid black flag. So we're going to race one full, a lap and a half. going to race a full lap and a half. All right, so the furthest cars at the back of the field are three and a half seconds back. I want it to be a little more than that. What the hell are the... AI cars doing. Right. right off the bat, I already see some settings that need adjusting. Why are they all glitching out and going below the yellow line? Oh. That was close. Well, that was lame. Hold on. I need to go back into the Daytona night, I and I, and see what the hell is going on with this track. Alright, right off the bat, why is this so high? That explains the grip being weird. All right, let's take a look at this stuff. Yeah, I so, yeah, I grip. AI pacing distance. I'm gonna turn that up even more. It's like 14. Cause I want the cars to be really, really spread out like they were in real life. So they compiling in. Alright, so the grip is turned down. I think we're good. Loading the game back up. Alright. Going right back in it. And yes, I am aware the chat froze. I just unfroze it. That happens when I exit out of the game and restart it back up, but forget to click back on the chat window. But I didn't forget this time. Alright, so let's see. If 
they don't go below the yellow line this time since I have the grip basically at a much normal setting. Alright, I can actually spin. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, we're all going to be crashed anyway, so that doesn't really matter. I want the AI cars to be really, really spread out. I know Frank Kimmel was in second at the time. Maybe I'll have to increase the drafting distance too. Probably will have to increase the drafting distance. Shit. I totally just screwed up the shifts. Actually, no, we got the cars. We got some cars spread out. They're kind of spread out. Trying to one hand steer and flip back on this without accidentally hitting the button that shifts me into neutral. Alright, so let's try it right now. Looks like we got a, the car is decently spread out. Come on, flip me over. Why does it still feel way grippier than it should be? I don't have the grip turned up that high. Yeah, I don't like how grippy the track feels. I don't like that at all. Let me see something else. What other tracks do I have in here? Similar to that time. Let me exit out one more time and go back into the I&I. &I. Do you guys know? For being like 1.1, the track should not feel as grippy as it does. The only reason I have it up even this high is because I'm using my damn controller and not my wheel. Try that. I turn the grip down even more. I think I know something that probably made that last attempt feel a little weirder than it should have. I think I still have, yep, traction control on from the last video. I'll turn that off. Race. All right, let's get back into it. Drivers, Try another one. Engine. I think it's not on the right chassis type for modern day restrictor plates, but it's still on a chassis type where even with the GNS physics it's not going to go over 190 or 200. Ooh. 
Oops. I accidentally downshifted the first time. I meant to downshift the second. Alright, so I got him really... Oh, sorry, chat, chat, chat. I won't forget this time. Hey, look at that. Bobby Gerhardt's in the lead. Along with Frank Kimmel. Those were the two guys leading when the wreck happened. Perfect. Look at that. Except I thought that was going to be Kimmel. I don't know where Frank Kimmel went. But all the cars are nice and spread out, but we got a little small cluster here and there. No, oh, I had Frank Kimmel drop so far back. Yeah, we got cars spread out about five seconds already. So I'm going to cause a wreck in this corner. Let's see if I can... not working the track feels way grippier than it should and it feels like the AI cars are still slowing down way more than they should be for having their panic decel at zero all right let's see what other versions of Daytona we have. So this is starting to get annoying with this version. Something is messed up with the setting. It feels way more grippy than it should. Daytona night... No real other revamped. No, that's not going to be at night. <sighs> does and can anyone explain this? Why the hell does it feel so goddamn grippy? When the track. When the grip settings are basically completely normal. I, I don't get it. Because, yeah, I it feels like I have way more traction than I should. It feels like the AI cars are stopping way more suddenly than they should for having the panic diesel be at zero. So can anyone explain... I have no idea. It's not because I don't have my wheel. It's something going on with this version of the track. What other versions of Daytona do I have that I could use? I'm going to try this and just There we 
we go. I'm going to try overwriting my backup one. That should be all the original default settings. So I'm not going to touch the grip at all. I'm just doing the things I was doing before, like the bunching distance, drafting distance, pacing distance, panic decel zero, zero. All right, but I haven't touched anything grip wise. or weather-wise. Save, save. All right, loading the game back up. And no, I'm not gonna forget about the chat. Boom. All right, let's try it now. Drivers, start engine. I didn't even see if I'm using the right version of Daytona. Drivers to your yep, Daytona night. All right. feels better. And if the grip is normal, they shouldn't be going down below the yellow line all weird like they were before. Sweet. Already the track feels better. I think I might have screwed up that other version. So that's a good reason to keep a backup of all your tracks. So if you mess around with it, you don't ruin it. You can always just download the backup. So we're going to get up to speed, a full lap and a half. All right, so we're just going to pretend that the yellow car and the red car, whoever these guys are, Weaver and Miller, we're going to pretend those guys are Kimmel and Gerhardt, who are actually behind me, unfortunately, because I didn't get the qualifying lineup perfect. All right, so we have cars all the way up to eight seconds back. That is exactly what I'm looking for, for them to get nice and spread out and strung out on that first lap so I can cause a wreck in this first little cluster right at the beginning of the back stretch and have the other cars that are way far back and piling in with the lack of panic deceleration. Damn it. I don't think that's going to be good. I think I have the settings down for the track. I think the settings are way better than they were in the last version of the track, but I just missed coming back up to the track to cause a big pileup for that one. That was my own fault. 
I'll have to try again and not suck this time. Corvette Racing, the big one, Tropical Cyclone. Thanks for joining in, guys. Be sure to hit that like button if you haven't yet. B-Bear Gaming, Colby Treat, that NR2003 guy, how's it going guys? NASCAR Super Flips, T-Jax, Rockets. So I think I have a good chance of getting the pile up correct. I just need to get the cars that I take out, including myself, back up on the track and to block the other cars that are coming. almost too spread out now. Actually, it's still it's about perfect. Because there's a couple small group in the lead, and then there's a small cluster right back here that I'll spin myself out with and try to take out a couple of these guys and then have them start piling in from there. Hopefully, I'll flip. What the hell did the nine just do? And I missed all the traffic again. Obviously, I'm probably going to have to switch some paint schemes at some point. If I were ha going to have to switch a paint scheme, the 69 car right there would have been a good sub for the 60 of me, because that's basically what happened to the 60 in real life. He slid on his <coughs> roof for a little bit and then barrel rolled once he hit that inside grass. All right, I think I need to... Trying to think how I need to spin differently where I can come across the track and block the track, which I've failed to do both times. I think before I edit this one together, I need to get rid of my, my smoke update to make the smoke way more thick. That'll probably help make this one look more realistic. Speed and 
and take out some of these cars. Oh, got a bunch more coming out there. There's about <clears throat> 12 or 15 total cars involved in this wreck. And there's about 20, 22 in this race right now, so trying to have enough to have them all pile in, but then have a couple left over that'll sneak through. Flip over, darn it. Nope. Nope. Haven't gotten lucky enough to get the track blocked yet. Do I need to turn the regular D cell down as well? I like the settings that I have for the uh, the track pacing distance to get them all spread out before the race even starts, but I think it's causing a few guys to wreck prematurely. Yeah, you can see right there. There's the 49, there's the other car that needs to flip over. Turn up the grip so you can just turn and flip. That works a lot better when I don't need the AI to stop on a dime. When you turn the grip up, it makes the the AI's stopping power way more powerful, even if the panic decel is turned down. Speed, one lap. Alright. So we're going to get these guys to wreck with me going on the back stretch. Hope a big pile up ensues. Why is he able riding below the yellow line? Not quite. I mean, sad to say it was probably one of the better ones yet, but... Their panic D cell is still... I'm gonna exit out of this for a second. Go back into Daytona Night. Track I and I. What am I doing wrong?
Maybe it's not registering anything as one or as a zero. Where's the regular D cell? I'm gonna turn that down. Alright, save. Let's see if that does anything. Sorry guys, I know this is one this one's a little boring right now. Still trying to find the proper settings to get this perfect. Maybe I can try this on the first lap, since I turned the restrictor plates off. Sweet, I don't think anyone got held up from the banking this time, I think. I think I tweaked the settings to a right spot, at least for the pacing distance. Depending on how fast we can get up to speed, I am actually might try it on the first lap this time. Alright, I'm going to try it on this lap. Someone flip me. Nope. Alright, I guess we're trying the next. Or, going to have to try after two laps next time. You know what the best part is, though? I think I have uh, yellow flags turned off so I can get them as they're coming around this time. And I want to see how spread out they are after one lap. Shoot, sorry. I always forget to turn the chat back on. Excuse me. Sorry. Alright, that is like perfect to what I wanted. Alright, next. Drivers, start your engines. So, I like where the settings are at, I just want to wait a full lap and a half to try it this time. Just like a few clusters, small clusters of cars pretty spread out. There's about 20 or 25 cars left in that race at that point. Okay, so we're going to wait a full lap and a half. Another group 
the car is about five seconds back. Perfect. below the yellow line there. Well, that was lame. That was really lame. Thought more cars were going to get involved in that. I just need to get lucky enough to get a huge pileup started. We got big time problems with that motor, buddy. Looks like we're bent up on the back end. You've been disqualified for reckless driving. Looks like you're leaking some fluid. You're smoking out there. Oh, there goes my engine. <laughs> now we're going to try that again. Drivers, start your engines. Man, I thought I'd have more luck with this one than I am. I'm going to have to turn the number of AI opponents up. Time I'll make sure that Bobby Gerhardt and Frank Kimmel qualify in first and second each time. Well, I got Frank Kimmel in the front, just missing Bobby Gerhardt. So once again, we're going to wait a whole lap to get up to speed and try the wreck. But I need to be more adamant trying to take out a few cars while making sure we get stuck sideways blocking traffic. lead that Gerhard and Kimmel had in real life. Alright, so I'm coming down the backstretch. A decent amount of these cars right behind me need to be involved in the initial wreck. And if I can get a decent amount of these cars involved in the initial wreck, if we can get blocked in the right spot on the track, hopefully the rest should happen on its own. The other guys will just start piling in. I'm just going to turn dead left across Gerhardt. <laughs> well, I mean, it's probably the closest I got, sadly. And that was a hell of a wreck. 
mean, if I only got two cars to flip in that, I might have counted that. But there's a few too many cars flipping, and way too violently. That wasn't too shabby, though. I mean, that was a step in the right direction. That, that just gave me hope right there. I mean, I guess it doesn't necessarily matter who flips. I can try switching paint schemes after the, uh, after I get a good replay. If the templates don't fit properly, a couple of the cars might look a little funny, but still a way to add a lot of detail to make sure a lot of the cars in whichever situations they're in are correct. Viper Ghost 03, NASCAR Super Flips, Tropical Cyclone, the big one, 5395. Thanks for joining in, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit that like button if you haven't yet. As we get going for another attempt here. Now I showed right there that as long as I can get a decent amount of cars turned in that initial spin, that the rest should start piling in pretty naturally. Field decently spread out. We got a couple cars strung out, single file, the leaders. All right, perfect. I just need to get turned really quickly, coming out of turn two down the back stretch, and make sure I take a decent amount of, or at least one or two cars with me. Come back up across the track. See that? Why did it seem like... <laughs> Ouch. Why did it seem like the track grip was turned up? Unless I was just at, about to make an excellent save. Because I tried turning as hard left as possible and it still seemed almost impossible to spin out. Why is that? State Ohio State game on the background. Stupid steering assistance, which I don't normally have on except I'm stuck using my controller. Shoot, that's right, I forgot. There were some pedals I was looking at on eBay, but. The listing ended. I completely forgot about it.
Got cars spread out. They're not quite as spread out as they were the past few attempts, but that almost might be better. Got them spread out about three seconds back. Alright, so once again, I'm just going to try turning dead. Left. Actually, no, I'm going to try this. I need to like kind of get clipped coming out of two and then turn and then I'm going to try turning back hard right across the track. Then maybe if I get clipped by a car coming back across the right at the right angle then I'll flip over that way and pile in a decent amount of cars. I'm going to try that method now. Kind of pretend to get clipped on the apron coming out of two go down a little bit and then just turn right back across the track. There's a car that got into the catch fence earlier this race. And there's a car that flew and hit a couple people on pit road. Flag. Right, they're already a little more spread out than we were last time. Perfect. The more spread out, the better. Gives more space and more of a chance for us spinning cars to kind of slow down and get drilled and get hit hard by the cars piling in. Oh, Ohio State just scored a touchdown to make it like a four-point game. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do. Coming out of turn two, I'm going to get clipped. Kind of pretend like I get hit and then come back across the track to the right really uh, uh, yeah fast just basically like I'm out of control and so we're gonna pretend the seven just clipped me right there So we didn't quite get all the results that we wanted, but that was probably the closest, one of the closest yet. I mean, the pileup was pretty decent. I just wish a couple of those, more of those cars were involved. If just a couple more of that second cluster were involved, that would have been decent. And if I flipped over initially. Excuse me. Oops. Bye bye, first gear. See, when I come roaring back across the track to the right, I'm going to hopefully be getting hit by a car, like, right at this angle. 
that'll just send me flipping and hopefully we'll land upside down, slide for a little bit, and get lucky enough to get into the grass and start barrel rolling, while hopefully the rest of the track is also blocked off. By the way, I want to do Claire Zimmerman's crash from the same race, I just can't find that number 52 paint scheme. I found other paint schemes by Claire Zimmerman, 2005 Arca, but I can't find the one where he had that Daytona crash. field isn't quite as spread out this time. The furthest car back is about two and a half seconds. Yeah, I don't know how big of a pile up this one's going to be. The furthest car back is two and a half seconds, so they're not very spaced out. Alright, so we're going to pretend the 20 clips me. Nope, that was a fail. Not even going to watch a replay of that one. cars to be a little more spaced out than they were that time. This game is getting close. Alright, come on. Get these cars nice and spread out during the pace lap. And our 2003 crash guy, that NASCAR guy, 24, the big one. Thanks for joining in, guys. Be sure to hit that like button if you haven't yet. I really appreciate it. spaced out this time. Not by much, but a little bit more spaced out. The furthest car back is already three seconds behind. Spaced out about four seconds. Alright, so I'm gonna pretend to get clipped by the Delphi car and come flying back across the track to the right. Now, hold on a second. It's definitely not perfect. But just imagine, if you will, for a second. Pretend that the 7 right here is me, the number 60, the first car that flips in real life. And then I am the 49 car, if you switch the paint schemes. 
the second car that flips in real life. Just imagine if those two paint schemes are swapped. It's that guy, he's sliding around for a little bit. He gets hit, he's sliding upside down. And then he barrel rolls. And then the second car. I am saving that. I mean, it's far from perfect, but... I mean, this is going to be a really, really, really difficult crash to reenact, so I'm going to have to grasp at some straws to try to pull this one off. Two cars flipped. One of them was upside down for a little bit, kind of spinning, and then did a little tumble into the grass on the inside. And the second car that flipped, yes, I know I tumbled instead of just sliding on my roof, but I kind of slid over on my side and then upside down slowly. So yeah, I mean... It's definitely not going to be perfect, but... 2005... Arca crash attempt one. Okay. All right. So you guys remember, so obviously if I switch the paint scheme to how I was going to have, have it, Obviously, the start of the wreck is going to be kind of off because the 49 didn't start the wreck in real life. The 49 came piling in later. But, I mean, just like I said, this one, it's going to be far from perfect. So, yeah, just imagine, if you will. Yeah, I'm... Alright, so... I'm going to do a little bit of bonus time. We're going to do a little bit of experimenting. We're going to go into the opponent manager. All right. Export. Arca. 05. 60. Where's the 49? Arca. 05. 49. Arca O nine seven. All right, so as I'm gonna turn the seven into the sixty, because he flipped first. And then I was gonna turn me, the sixty, into the forty nine. And then I'll turn the forty nine into the seven. Arca 49. Look at that. Oh yeah, and that is going to turn the 49 into the 7. Uh, I think I accidentally hit 09. Is this the right one? Yeah. I accidentally just hit the wrong year. Save. Oh wow, Ohio State just went up. Should be paying attention to that game. Alright, so now that I switched those paint schemes around, let's take another look at that replay. So keep in mind... I'll do you guys one better. Arca 
Oh, five. Five. And then. Arca. Oh, five. Nine. Export, import this guy as Bobby Gerhart. So you guys remember Bobby Gerhart. Oops. Bobby Gerhart was in the lead, followed by Frank Kimmel. So that is what I'm going for with this. And switch Bobby Gerhart to the nine. And that is how you switch around paint schemes if some AI cars are acting a little difficult. Alright, replay studio. Where is... yeah. So remember, the 60 car was the first car to flip over. And then the 49 is the second to go over. Alright, so what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Load this back up. So I know the first car is... And now I'm that I'm looking at it, it probably... My version of the wreck probably happened a couple of seconds later down the back stretch than it should have. But, it's like I said, this one is going to be... We're not getting the... I was going to show a side-by-side. -side, but it's not working right now. But yeah, let me know if you guys want me to edit that. Keep in mind... Yeah, Bobby Gerhart was leading. Camel was behind him. The 60 is the first car to flip over. I know I didn't quite barrel roll, but I kind of almost tumbled end over end a little bit. I know it wasn't exactly, but... I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get closer than that. Than the second car flipping over in the background. Alright, so let me know if you want me to try to edit that. Because I could probably make that look pretty decent with some editing. taking one more look at it. I know the start looks really intentional. It happens a couple seconds later down the backstretch than it should have. The 60 didn't quite barrel roll. More or less just spun around when he got into the grass. The 49 probably spins a little too or flips a little too early and didn't barrel roll in real life. But all things considered, with how hard of a wreck this one is going to be to reenact, guys can't really... Give me too much slack for that one being the best that I got after an hour. Alright, so in true arc of fashion, right before I get going, let's do one going backwards. I mean, if I throw some CCM on there, the ticker, although I'm going to probably have to tr probably find a better quality version of that ticker. I'm going to use this for this video. So yeah, I will at the end of this video or once the live stream is done processing I will post two comments down below asking if you want me to do a part two or if you want me to try to edit the better one. The attempt that I saved. I really want to try editing that. And of course, aside from the couple of racing, uh, racing, racing shots leading up to the wreck, there's only like two camera angles 
for the wreck itself, so it won't take that long to CCM. So if I do, if you guys do decide you want me to edit it, I could probably have this out by sometime tomorrow. Yeah, there's a few flaws. Happens a little later down the backstretch than it should have. Because the 60 started flipping a couple seconds before he got to where the grass starts right there. I was flip. I started, or the 60 started flipping right at the grass, basically. The start looks a little intentional. The 60 didn't quite barrel roll. I mean, I kind of spun around. It almost looks like I'm end over ending. Or the 60s end over ending, but I didn't quite barrel roll when the 60 gets into the grass, and the 49 barrel rolls a couple times when he didn't in real life. But if those are the worst flaws, I mean, I'll take that. I might have to try a second try. I don't know if I even really got anyone. No, I didn't really get anyone. I'm gonna have to do that once more. Drivers, start your engines. Oh wow. The Buckeyes held Penn State turnover on downs. Now Penn State's got two timeouts to try to stop the clock. We're gonna turn over or something. Brian Silas near flip at Talladega, that's a good suggestion. And like always, I'd love to take your suggestions, guys. Just leave them or save them till after the video's done and then post your suggestions down in the comments. They're much easier for me to see that way. And trust me, I do want to see your guys' suggestions. So that's why you should post them that way. Then you guys can thumbs up each other's suggestions. I know which ones are more popular, that more people want to see me do. So yeah, I'm going to try editing that for the remainder of the night, probably. Even though I don't quite have your guys' official blessing with it yet. There they go. Just took a little while, but they started to get collected further down the back stretch. That's what caused it. All these guys finally started piling in. Oh yeah, 11. Speaking of Brian Silas. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much again for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed. Check out my Patreon page to help support this channel if you'd like to help support and get some cool rewards in return. Thank you so much to Ryan Fitzy for doing so. Also, I'm on uh, Facebook and Twitter if you want to follow me on social media. I stream on Twitch as well. All the links are down in the description. Thank you so much again guys. I will post the comments. Let me know your vote, and let me know your suggestions for future videos. And as always, hope to catch you next time. Until then, hope you have a good rest of your night. Peace. Bye.